Happy New Year! Woo! <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oof. So I figured I should get this out of the way nice and early, just so you have one less thing to worry about this year. Today, I would like to explain to you why the world is not going to end in 2012. Now, the reason that we even have this 2012 nonsense is that it was apparently predicted that in May 2003, a rogue planet called Nibiru was going to crash into Earth and end the world which quite clearly didn't happen. And so, just like every other prediction of the end of the world ever, when we didn't die in May 2003, the apocalypse was just quietly pushed back a bit to 2012. That's basically a nine year margin of error, so I don't think these people are very exact about the dates that they pick. Now, the apparent reason that 2012 was picked as the new end point for humanity is because of something that you might already have heard of, the Mayan calendar or specifically the Mayan long count calendar, just one of the many calendars that the Maya made. Now the Maya are basically a very old and also very cool civilization who basically really liked time. They studied the skies intricately, they made temples with architecture based on the number of days of the year, and they also made a lot of calendars. But something the Maya didn't do at any point, ever, was predict when the world would end. That's just not something the Maya did. They made calendars which ended, but just like any other calendar, when one ends, you get a new one. I could make a prediction right here and now, using my copy of the official 2012 Justin Bieber calendar. I can note that the calendar ends on the 30th of December, and predict from that, that because the calendar ends there, that is also where the world must end, right? Really, the end of the Mayan calendar, just like the end of the Justin Bieber calendar, has no real significance unless you want to know when that particular calendar ends. Now, although these end of the worlders have picked their dates, specifically the 21st of December 2012, they still can't seem to decide what catastrophe is actually going to happen on the date that they've picked. You might remember earlier, I mentioned that planet Nibiru, which is also sometimes referred to as Planet X, which is apparently on its way to destroy Earth. But it probably won't surprise you to hear that there is no such thing as Planet X. In fact, if it was going to hit us in December, it would have to be close enough to Earth now that we would be able to see it in the sky with our naked eyes. But we can't because it's not there. These people are also worried about solar storms sending us scary solar flares because solar activity is nearing its peak. And I actually can't deny that one. We will be hit by solar flares at some point this year and they will have a noticeable effect on our planet. Most notably, they'll be making some very pretty and harmless lights in the sky called the Northern Lights. Terrifying, I know. One of my favourite stupid theories, though, is the worry that the Earth and the Sun are going to align with the centre of the Milky Way, causing something bad to happen somehow. That is genuinely as specific as they get on this one. And they seem to think this, even though the Earth and the Sun align with the centre of the Milky Way every single year, and nothing ever happens. Basically, either these people are stupid, Sorry, or just maybe just ignorant, I don't know, but they're not the most intelligent people in the world. Or they're perfectly aware that all of this 2012 stuff is nonsense and they're just using it to sell t-shirts and books and survival kits to people that they are scaring. Either way, they have absolutely no evidence for any of these claims that they're making. NASA themselves have come in and thoroughly debunked every assertion that they've made and they are not worth any of your time. Happy New Year again, I hope you have a good one, and remember, always deny the apocalypse. Because you'll usually be right, and when you're wrong, there'll be nobody around to say I told you so. Goodbye. Uh, you've just had the almost imponderable joy of watching Charlie is so cool-like, which makes you like cool. Just as an aside, it does genuinely end on the 30th of December, this calendar, which is just wrong. It's missing a day. That's just so bad. I don't think I'm even going to buy next year's Justin Bieber calendar. How do you like that? Biebs.